All right, pre-calc, getting more into the heart of trigonometry. We are on lesson four four, and we are doing trig functions at any angle now. So we're not just at 30, 60, 90, 45, 45, 90s. Our essential question, can you evaluate trig functions of any angle? Let's talk about some definitions. Let theta be an angle in standard position with x, y, as a point on the terminal side of theta. R is equal to, trying to get another color, the square root of x squared plus y squared, where that cannot equal zero. The things we already know, the sine is y over r, The cosine is x over r. Tan is y over x, where x cannot equal 0, or it would be undefined. Cotan is x over y. Flipped. Seek is r over x. And cosecant is r over y. And remember, those denominators cannot equal 0. So let's talk about a few things. This is the initial side. When I draw theta, this is where theta is, this is called the terminal side. So the terminal side is the R. So let's take a look at example one. Let negative three, four be a point on the terminal side of theta. So remember we always start drawing this way that means this is theta. And in this case, they're giving us this point, negative 3, 4. Now, because you are smart pre-calculus peeps, you know that this would be the negative 3. And it's written in here, just you can't see it very well. And this is the 4. And remember that this builds a 3, 4, because you know your Pythagorean triples, the 3, 4, 5 triangle. Now this, the yellow right here is theta, but remember when we draw our right triangle, we always draw to the x-axis and this becomes what we call our reference angle. So we have to figure out our sine, our cosine, and our tangent. So let's talk, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, 4 over 5. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, negative 3 over 5. And tan is opposite over adjacent, 4 over negative 3. Now, if you are unable to find this angle right here, or sorry, this side right here of 5, remember you could have done a squared plus b squared equals c squared because we do have a right triangle because of how we drop to the x-axis always. All right, I'm going to move on to example three. It says given sine is 4 over 5 and tangent is less than 0. Well, I'm going to draw a triangle first. It might not be drawn to um, perspective because remember that here my sine is 4 over 5. Well, because I know my Pythagorean triples, I know that this is a 3, 4, 5. But the key word that they're going to give us here is that tangent is less than 0, meaning that it's not just a 3. It has to be a negative 3. So now it's not drawn right because it would be flipped over. Um, so now I just need to find the cosine. Well, remember theta was right here because this was sine. 4 over 5, so sine was 4 over 5. So the cosine, in this case of theta, is negative 3 over 5. And I know negative, again, because they tell me tangent. They tell me opposite over adjacent is going to be smaller than 0. And then the last thing they ask for is the cosecant of theta. Well, since they gave us a sine, I'm just going to flip the sine to be 5 over 4. All right, let's move on to example four. 
evaluate the cosecant and the cotangent at zero. Well, where is zero? Zero is here. Pi over two, pi and three pi over two. And remember that I call these radians non-angle angles because they're not on an angle. They're at a 90 degree. We do know our points are one zero, zero one, negative one zero, and zero negative one. So it's telling us, let's start with our cosecant. Our cosecant is the opposite of sine. So cosecant, I'm gonna write in blue. So if they're the opposite of sine, remember my sine at zero. I'm gonna put zero, and then I'm gonna put pi over two, and then I'm gonna put pi, and then I'm gonna put three pi over two. And all of these I'm going to have for cosecant and cotangent. So sine is all of the y's that I'm underlining in blue. So cosecant is going to be flipped. Now remember, zero is over one, one is over one. So if I flip zero over one, I get undefined. If I flip one over one, I still get one. If I flip, zero over one, I get undefined. And if I flip negative one over one, I get negative one. Moving on to the cotangent. Remember cotangent is cosine, cosine over sine, because tangent is sine over cosine. So I'm gonna start at zero, cosine over sine is undefined. Then I have pi over two, cosine over sine is zero. Cosine over sine is undefined. And cosine over sine is going to be zero.